the fact that he's willing to make a promise at the outset that it must be a black woman, I got to say that's offensive. Right. You know, you right. know, black women are what, 6% of the U.S. population? <laughs> he's saying to 94% of Americans, I don't give a damn about you. You are ineligible. And he's also saying it's actually an insult to black women. If, if he came and said, I'm going to put the best jurist on the court, and, and he looked at a number of people and he ended up nominating a black woman, he, he could credibly say, okay, I'm nominating the person who's most qualified. He's not right. even pretending to say that. My job has me virtue signaling. When I heard that Joe Biden wanted to select a black woman to be the next Supreme Court justice, replacing Justice Stephen Breyer, who's retiring, I assumed she would be qualified. The irony is that the Supreme Court is at the very same time hearing cases about uh, about this sort of affirmative racial <laughs> discrimination. Yes. And, 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 and while adding someone who is the beneficiary of uh, of this sort of quota. What you just saw was Senator Roger Wicker of Mississippi, the blackest state in the country. More on him later. But first, I just want to point out that any backlash to Biden's clearly stated goal, it's not necessarily what they're saying, it's what they're not saying. Anyone opposing this black woman's long overdue appointment seems like they're more upset with the fact that Biden caught his shot. But would it have been better if he kept his intentions to himself? No. Who spoke up when 45 said that he would nominate a woman for the highest court in the land and he followed through with it? Who opened their mouth when Reagan said that he would nominate a woman for that same role and he followed through with it? Reagan picked Scalia because he was Italian. So it's not about saying it ahead of time, sex, or ethnicity. It's about race. This is America. Well, Ted Cruz had the nerve to say that Biden choosing a black woman who represents 6% of the U.S. population is offensive and that it's actually an insult to black women. The fact that a black woman hasn't been selected already isn't insulting. The presumption that she won't be qualified is offensive. It's about what they're not saying. Since the formation of the court in 1790, there have technically been 115 justices. Black women making up 6% of the U.S. population would have given us, what, seven black women with this lifetime appointment by now? So if you say, Jeff, that's faulty math, then mm, I'm not going to argue. If you say black women weren't always qualified, especially back then, then it's because qualifications were kept from them. But you bet not say that all of these white men were uniquely qualified outside of their whiteness. A number of these white men were homogenous hires. See, Justice Kavanaugh, who merely brought a love of beer, an oddly detailed calendar, and debt to the bench. Reminder, quotas as part of affirmative action were deemed unconstitutional in the late 70s. It's what he's not saying. Also, as was mentioned earlier, the affirmative action case that Wicker is referring to is the Supreme Court now hearing arguments from a lawsuit alleging that East Asian and South Asian students are discriminated against in college admissions at Harvard. What he fails to mention is that white men might be the biggest beneficiaries of what's going on in the Ivy League. And the irony in what Senator Wicker finds ironic is that when ABC News polled a little over 500 people, just over three quarters of Americans, 76%, said they want President Biden to consider all possible nominees. But that's just about the same amount of white people who only have one black friend. If only they could see a black woman on the Supreme Court. For Rebel HQ, I'm Jeff Wiggins. My architect knows Japanese. For more from the Young Turks, stay right here. If you want to see content from yours truly, click on the hashtag below. I can also be found on all socials at he gonna be all right. Thanks for watching.